Wake up and grind while we serve you with the hottest tea in the world of entertainment. This is Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. I'm definitely not alone. I've got a special co-anchor with me in the building today. Yes, if I my and then you'll laugh. I'm not around today um, due to personal reasons. And um, she is a commercial model who has hosted a few events, featured in a few TV series. She loves to exercise, sing and dance. And um, trust me when I say she's super beautiful. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. Emerald Eme Nuga. Did I get your son in right though? <laughs> did I get it? It's actually very easy to pronounce, but yeah, you did. I did. No, no, it's not easy. It's just it's, me. No, it's, it's easy. It's just me. If I'm good very, like that. Wait, excuse me. People are people that are very concerned with um Adenuga. My name ah, is very my close to that. Hey, so Adenuga. I, I, I knew there was something about you and money. <laughs> Eh? When I saw you looking this fresh, I knew you ought to be associated to money. So. No, that's just it. That's why when people pronounce my surname so easy like that, mm. I'm like, you're, you're familiar but with somebody else would have said Eminuga. No, it's very easy to or pronounce. Eminuga. Nah. Emi No. <laughs> How you doing, though? I'm very well. Thank All right. So you. I just read a little bit about you, but I like you to tell the viewer about yourself as well. You know, apart from dancing and singing, what, what show us a dance move first? Huh? Though? Just to start this now, like that was a wake up call. Okay, okay. Yeah. when I say when I say I love to dance, yeah, I love to dance in my own space. Space. So I'm that person that wants to dance. Um, when probably I'm getting ready to go out or something, mm. or I'm just at home chilling and I just dance. But like dance in front of people and uh, nah, nah. Let me guess, you're from Emo states. Yes, I am. Okay. And I hope there's nothing about me that tells. No, no, no. I, I have a friend that men who as well. That is from Emo State, so I just figured. <laughs> That's not true. <laughs> Why are you the only men who Yes, I'm not the only men who but your family. I'm very there. sure, like I'm the first men you know. Oh yeah. Mhm. Mm okay, maybe the last. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so apart from dancing, what else do you do apart from being a commercial model? You know, what tickles you fancy? Hmm, money. Money. <laughs> <laughs> what else? Um, my my job. Your job. Yeah. So, um, when it comes to media, right? Um, how long have you been in this? Okay, I have been in I've, I've been in media um for over I'll say four years. Mm. But professionally. Okay. You just mentioned professionally now. Okay, I, uh, professionally, I'll say two years. All right. So, two guys, are you ready? Let's test out. Let's see how good she is with this. And maybe, <laughs> who knows? She might just be my favorite person on earth. You know, I like my co uncles, right? Yeah, so um, the first story for the day is, okay, before we even go on, yesterday was World Whiskey Day. Pronounced. Declared by the fans. Mm? Mm. How do you feel about that? Are you a Whiskey FC or David FC or... None. If you have to listen to a better time or a whiskey made in Lagos, which would you listen to? Obviously, made in Lagos. So you should listen to whiskey, FC, ladies and gentlemen. I am not what whiskey. Is it I'm we not. just want another soul. <laughs> thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> I'm, <All right>. not. <laughs> I'm not. You're not whiskey, FC. Nah. But you, you prefer made in Lagos. Exactly. Why? You like calm music. Yes, I do. Like, I, I like to David vibe too much calmly. noise for you. It's not like his noise, though, because some it's of his a, songs. It's a mood. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. it. It's a mood. So yeah. I would well, rather want something calm and still vibing. Alrighty. Yeah. Alrighty. So should we move on to the story for the day? Are you ready? Yeah, yeah. All right. And we're playing a game as well so we can get to know Emerald a bit more. All right. So a Nigerian man from Kaduna State has dragged the Slay Queen to court in a move to retrieve the 5K he sent to her for transport fare after she refused to show up as agreed. The story was shared in a tweet posted by one Mr. Farouk, identified with the Twitter handle Wiz Farouk on Thursday. According to him, his friend had sent money to a lady to use as, a, as transport aid for a great visit at his Kaduna residence. However, immediately after receiving the money, the said lady started giving flimsy excuses on why she can no longer visit. Farouk's friend, annoyed by the lady's attitude, headed to court and has now successfully retrieved reimbursement of the money from the lady. Ha! Farouk, who shared the story, wrote, so my guy sent 5k to this babe to come over from Zaria to Kaduna, only for her to start giving silly excuses and try to play him. To cut story short, Baba Karimata go call 
court, then send back in money via court order. Right move or not, Omar, you should be the president of Stingy Men Association. <laughs> because <laughs> if you ask me, five K no reach the go court to the energy to go to court say. Okay. But what's your take on this? <laughs> but why do you girls do that? Why do we do what? Why do you do that? They send you people money to come and they even will not have to come. Okay. Um, yeah, no it could be, it could be, um, let me speak for the lady now. It could be that truly something came up. They did not say flimsy excuse, they said flimsy excuses. Excuses. Well, I don't know. I don't do that. If I'm not coming, I'm not coming. Don't mm. give me your money. Okay. Do you even need money to come? <laughs> what hacks for transport? Some though? people need money to come. What are you saying? Mm, to mm -hmm. come. Okay, go on. Okay. So, um, <laughs> first off, um, you mentioned where this thing happened, mm. Cardona. Mm -hmm. Okay, because I'm a little bit surprised that someone would drag someone to the court for 5,000 naira. That's very, um, he has a lot of time, I must say. So, um, considering where it happened, I think. That's why it happened. And I remember the question you asked, you're like, so the system still works? Yeah, exactly. Was, I asked yeah, that question because, I mean, I've seen cases where um, here in Lagos, people send money or someone sends money to a girl and mm. she doesn't even show up at the end of the day. Uh, the girl just get pissed off and after a while, the whole matter... Reminds me of that TikTok video. Where, okay, where are you now? Where have you got into? <laughs> okay, I know. <noticed. laughs> you know that. Yeah. <laughs> so I feel like the guy went too far, Jerry. We called 5,000 and he got the money back. Mm -hmm. mm, he's but, very, but, very. But I, that's why I said he should be the president of. Don Jazzy will be very, very proud of you right now. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So, yeah, Stingy Men Association. Yes, we just want another soul for you guys. Because <laughs> 5K, I don't even think I have that energy to be going That's to That's what I'm court, saying. Like, he has time. Transport fare to court or driving my car to In court. In the midst of doing gas. all of that, you must have spent more than that 5,000. You understand? Yes. Of course, you have to file. They, they will probably tell you to go do this, go yeah. do that. Go for the copy of this document, go do the. At the end of the day, your Baba is getting like 250. Two, oh. so. If not. Maybe he actually went that far because he wants to prove a point. Cause some, some well, guys... I, think, I, think, I think the point is okay, though, because you see a lot of ladies these days, they just come up with different stories. They tell you different stories to extort money from you. It's not like those stories are true anyway, but I feel like this is just one of those classic cases where a girl tells you she needs money for ABC and she doesn't actually need it for that. She actually wants to use it for Z. Do you understand? So I feel like it happens a lot in, in, in Nigeria these days. I'm not going to deny the fact that it happens, but I'm not... What's the worst thing you've done to get a guy's money? To get a guy's money? Worst thing I've done? To just extort it, like, you're just like, this guy, I want to chop your money. <laughs> like, it's not like you need it, but I just want to chop your money. What, what have you done? I don't know who is watching me right no, now. No, just share this story. He's, he's not watching, just tell us. Um, I, I don't really think I've done anything to... Mm, but, okay, what's the biggest lie you've told to chop a Biggest guy lie. I think, I think I've actually done the, I'm coming. And, but thing is, I really don't, I'm not, I'm not... How much did you chop? I don't know, I can't remember. That's because it's not important. I can't, <laughs> I can't really remember me saying, send me this amount of money, I'm coming. I'm not really that kind of girl that wants to ask you for money to come. Maybe when I was younger... Maybe I did that, but I really can't remember. But ever since I understand the fact that I'm a woman, I'm an adult, I can take care of some woman. things. Yeah. I can take care of some, yes, some things girl. myself. I have never done that. Nah. Yeah, she's just being modest. I know, I know even this weekend, she might still collect some <laughs> no, money. For no reason. No. <laughs> <laughs> not to come. Not to come. Just because you were just Sometimes, want to chop his money. It is actually, I, I think it's, it's nice to treat some men like that. Because you guys, as in, I West don't know. Come, right? Oh, God. So, some women are like, I just want to deal with this person. So, I'll make him send this money and I'm not going to show up. Yeah, I think, I think, oh. You remember okay. his story? No, I don't. My friend, actually, one time. Okay. Tell us. Tell us. Tell us. We like were supposed to hang yeah. out. So, um, then the person sends the money for, um, I think, T fair or so, I don't know. They're about, but mm. She asked me genuinely, she's like, What do you think? Should I take this money and not show up? What do you think? Because I'm a nice person. Totally I said, Take the money and show up. You can't take the money if you don't want to show up. This person can call you out any day, 
any year yeah. it could be five years later they'll call yeah. you out so it's better you take the money and show up if we don't want to show up then don't take the money so, so did she? i've always been a, a nice person so did she show up? yeah she did all righty all righty yes good girls like this they're not too many yeah trust me <laughs> yes. all right so moving on the lagos state government says it plans to phase out yellow buses popularly known as danfo in accord in danfo why am i speaking like if i my danfo in accordance with its transportation master plan of the state the state commissioner for transportation fred Frederick Oladendi disclosed that disclosed this when he spoke at a virtual forum on Thursday, February 4. Ol Oladendi said that the buses would be replaced by blue buses. We're reforming the bus sector, and over time, Lagos will phase out the yellow buses because the yellow buses are not conducive for a mega city like Lagos. That is why we're coming with blue buses you see around. We're inviting the private sector to participate in the provision of public transport services. We are also deploying technology just to ensure that we can up our game in terms of efficiency. A lot of they say is that uh, the state government will be providing ec 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 acres of land in Nigomo and Ogun states as the trans transit truck packs to help in resolving the protracted Apapa gridlock. Lagos State, in collaboration with the Nigerian Ports Authority, invited a con consenor and that consenor developed ETO app that will be deployed February 27. Lagos State has committed 31 acres of land in Igomo called the Bola Ametinobu Truck Park to complement what is at Lily Pond and we're talking to the Ogun State Government to secure a land in Ogere. He said, what do you think? How do you, do you, okay, before I even ask you what do you think, what's your worst experience with downfalls? <laughs> Because that's the reason why this story is there because I know we all have one downfall story or the other. Okay, um, that would be when I got into Lagos, the, yeah. the, the early time I got into Lagos. Oh, it was really terrible because I didn't have a car. Yeah. I didn't know my way around. Yeah. So my worst experience would be the very day that I think I was coming from. Okay, that was my first time to actually go into a public bus because I used to uh, live in Port Harcourt and I never did bus. Yeah. So coming to Lagos and I'm doing bus, so it was kind of different mm -hmm. now it, i was coming from first stock and i didn't know my way around so i had written how to get the bus stop that i had to get to mm. to get another bus and all. like i had to write down those things on a sheet of paper to like look and follow so i got into this bus and it was like i was going to die <laughs> and when i said die like from the kind of um smell that i was perceiving it was horrible it was really horrible like i looked this way oh god i looked this other way it was really terrible so i felt really bad i was almost crying to the extent that i forgot that i had passed where i was I supposed guess to stop. those ones that smell they're not the ones that sit like this <laughs> <laughs> they never put their hands I actually down found, i found myself in the middle of this man like one of them i think he's he's a meat seller i don't know because he had um, oh, okay, that reminds me. And then there's, a, there's meat inside. So I felt he's a meat seller, and then the other person is just a regular person. But they were really smelling really bad. Like, I was like, that I, reminds I wanted me, to jump off the bus. I went to Babcock, right? So I can remember taking a bus from Lagos to Babcock one day. And this guy had puppies. He actually sells, like, dog meat and stuff. He had puppies that were stinky. That was my worst trip. And this one is not, yeah, coming down the next bus stop. This one is one bus, one week, Wait, one week ticket. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know so for the five minutes, I sat down there enduring the smell. And I can remember one of the dogs came out. Oh, no, no don't mind. <laughs> and, and truly, the smell is really terrible because, and they're the ones that want to speak to you too. But I bet it's a bit time. <laughs> <laughs> and the mouth odor and all of that is really, really frustrating. So I hope this will be, you know, some social distancing. And I hope now that the world has realized that there's something like COVID-19 will put more spaces between passengers. So when you're getting buses, it should be like individual seats and not that long. But I, knowing this conduct. I feel like I feel like that is that is never going to happen. Knowing these conductors, they will knock back home. Like, <laughs> like, <laughs> and extend it. Yes, now. Yeah. Okay. Um, about the buses, the yellow yeah. buses changing to blue. Mm. I don't know how possible that would be. BRT buses are blue, though. We have the red colors. As yeah, well. as well. Yeah. 
I don't know how possible that would be because, I mean, our government, we say, they say a lot of things and over They're time we never see them happen. Mm -hmm. So these yellow buses, I don't know how true or how they intend to work on it to make it happen. But I feel like yellow, t when you see a yellow bus, you know this is Lagos. Mm -hmm. Yellow signifies... I think it's going to take away that Lagos. There's just yeah, something this, about exactly that like yellow bus that just makes you feel those like... Those downfall buses, you're like anywhere grinding. you are, you yeah. just see the yellow bus, you know this is Lagos mm -hmm. already. So changing it to blue, I don't even like blue to start with. Oh, yeah? Yeah. What's yeah. your favorite color? Black. Oh, wow. Okay. Let's move on. <laughs> <laughs> so um, changing it to blue, I don't know. I don't like the color first off and second off I feel like um, yellow has really uh, gone really like it has given Lagos an identity yeah. that all over the world I must say they're aware of that mm -hmm. so it, to change it is, is really I don't know like I feel like, like it's I think it's part of our identity now as Lagosian yeah. to you know when you see the yellow black you just know this is Lagos, Lagos. in so, fact there's some places that you just go to and once you just see it it just makes you feel at home like once you just see the colors and you're like yes yeah this feels like home yeah that's yeah true. so I don't know I don't know how this is going to play out but I don't think this is ever going to be extinct like hmm. this yellow black color I don't I, I don't I doubt if it's actually going to work same here i don't think it's work. but let's see how it goes man our government they're doing better these days right we are trying abby okay that silence says a lot <laughs> <laughs> all right so let's move on to the next story and nigerian superstar whiskey's 10 year old son boluati fair balogun has flaunted a brand new smartphone his father gifted um is it his son, sometime in the past, Bolu Atife disclosed that his father had sent him a new techno. Okay, sorry, techno. Pay me my money after the show. All right, a new um, smartphone, and um, it's worth over seventy-four thousand naira. Um, Whiskey that's been doing all this fatherly, you know, sweet all things, you know, from getting him a Puma yeah. to a PS5 to all of that. So, you know, when they call him a deadbeat dad, it just makes us want to cringe. Like, this guy is really trying. Do you mm -hmm. understand? And yeah. they're saying he's paying more attention to Zion. And then we saw a picture, a, a video of Bolu Atife and Zion being all mushy mushy, you know, like real brothers and stuff. So, I don't know. Can we fault the celebrities when we're not in their lives? No. So you think Whiskey is trying, right? He's trying to be a better dad. I don't know if he's trying. Do material things make you a, a good dad? Exactly. I was going to say that. I can't really say if he's trying because, I don't know, it's not just by giving gifts and mm. letting, um, getting the media to capture and put it mm. out there because there's a lot more. But I'm it's not, not the I'm media not... now. The son posted a video and put it on his own Instagram page. The video of um, the gifts? Yes. It's, it's, there's more to being a good father or a good parent than and all so of that. the best dad. <laughs> well, you know he's a child first off, so mm, children are moved understand. by things like that. Mm -hmm. So when you give them gifts, they're very excited and all of that. So, but I'll say he's trying anyways. I mean, I mean. He's, he's At least it's better son. than those that don't gift and they're not in the life. Yeah. Yeah. So at least he's trying in one aspect. But um, the truth is, um, gifts will never make you a good dad. And if you like give out all the gifts in the world, if you're not a good dad, you're not a good exactly dad. Exactly what just, I'm saying. Like, it's, just, it's, just it's not what about it the gifts because yeah, you can buy all the items for this first thing. If you're not there emotionally, spiritually, even mentally, the items will just be the items. So mm -hmm. you still don't have a space in the life of that child True, or yeah. you've not contributed in that other areas I mentioned mm -hmm. in the life of a child. So gifts alone doesn't do the work. Alrighty. Thank you.